In statistics, the logistic model or logit model is used to model the probability of a certain class or event existing such as pass, fail, win-lose, alive, dead or healthy, sick. This can be extended to model several classes of events such as determining whether an image contains a cat, dog, lion, etc. Each object being detected in the image would be assigned a probability between 0 and 1 and the sum adding to 1. Logistic regression is a statistical model that in its basic form uses a logistic function to model a binary dependent variable, although many more complex extensions exist. In regression analysis, logistic regression or logit regression is estimating the parameters of a logistic model, a form of binary regression. Mathematically, a binary logistic model has a dependent variable with two possible values, such as pass, fail which is represented by an indicator variable, where the two values are labeled 0 and 1. In the logistic model, the log odds, the logarithm of the odds for the value labeled 1 is a linear combination of one or more independent variables predictors the independent variables can each be a binary variable two classes coded by an indicator variable or a continuous variable any real value the corresponding probability of the value labeled 1 can vary between 0 certainly the value 0 and 1 certainly the value 1 Hence the labeling, the function that converts log odds to probability is the logistic function, hence the name. The unit of measurement for the log odds scale is called a logit, from logistic unit, hence the alternative names. Analogous models with a different sigmoid function instead of the logistic function can also be used, such as the probit model. The defining characteristic of the logistic model is that increasing one of the independent variables multiplicatively scales the odds of the given outcome at a constant rate, with each independent variable having its own parameter. For a binary dependent variable, this generalizes the odds ratio. The binary logistic regression model has extensions to more than two levels of the dependent variable. Categorical outputs with more than two values are modeled by multinomial logistic regression, and if the multiple categories are ordered, by ordinal logistic regression, for example the proportional odds ordinal logistic model. The model itself simply models probability of output in terms of input, and does not perform statistical classification it is not a classifier, though it can be used to make a classifier, for instance by choosing a cutoff value and classifying inputs with probability greater than the cutoff as one class, below the cutoff as the other, this is a common way to make a binary classifier. The coefficients are generally not computed by a closed form expression, unlike linear least squares, see section model fitting. The logistic regression as a general statistical model was originally developed and popularized primarily by Joseph Barkson, beginning in Barkson 1944, where he coined log it. See section history. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Applications. Logistic regression is used in various fields, including machine learning, most medical fields, and social sciences. For example, the Trauma and Injury Severity Score which is widely used to predict mortality in injured patients, was originally developed by Boyd et al., using logistic regression. Many other medical scales used to assess severity of a patient have been developed using logistic regression. Logistic regression may be used to predict the risk of developing a given disease e.g. diabetes, coronary heart disease, based on observed characteristics of the patient age, sex, body mass index, results of various blood tests, etc. Another example might be to predict whether a Nepalese voter will vote Nepali Congress or Communist Party of Nepal or any other party, based on age, income, sex, race, state of residence, votes in previous elections, etc. The technique can also be used in engineering, especially for predicting the probability of failure of a given process, system or product. It is also used in marketing applications such as prediction of a customer's propensity to purchase a product or halt a subscription, etc. In economics it can be used to predict the likelihood of a person's choosing to be in the labor force, and a business application would be to predict the likelihood of a homeowner defaulting on a mortgage. Conditional random fields, an extension of logistic regression to sequential data, are used in natural language processing. Examples <laughs> 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 
Topic: Logistic model. Let us try to understand logistic regression by considering a logistic model with given parameters, then seeing how the coefficients can be estimated from data. Consider a model with two predictors x 1 display style x underscore 1 and x 2 display style x underscore 2 and one binary Bernoulli response variable y display style y which we denote p equals p y equals 1 display style p equals p y equals 1 we assume a linear relationship between the predictor variables and the log odds of the event that y equals 1 display style y equals 1 this linear relationship can be written in the following mathematical form where is the log odds b display style b is the base of the logarithm and beta i display style beta underscore i are parameters of the model equals log b p 1 minus p equals beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 display style l equals log underscore b frac p 1 p equals beta underscore 0 plus beta underscore 1 x underscore 1 plus beta underscore 2 x underscore 2 we can recover the odds by exponentiating the log odds p 1 minus p equals b beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 Display style frac p one p equals b carrot beta underscore zero plus beta underscore one x underscore one plus beta underscore two x underscore two. By simple algebraic manipulation, the probability that y equals one display style y equals one is p equals b beta zero plus beta one x one plus beta two x two b beta zero plus beta one x one plus beta two x 2 plus 1 equals 1 1 plus b minus beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 Display style p equals frac b carrot beta underscore zero plus beta underscore one x underscore one plus beta underscore two x underscore two b carrot beta underscore zero plus beta underscore one x underscore one plus beta underscore two x underscore two plus one equals frac one one plus b carrot beta underscore zero plus beta underscore one x underscore one plus beta underscore two x underscore two the above formula shows that once beta i display style beta underscore i are fixed, we can easily compute either the log odds that y equals one display style y equals one for a given observation, or the probability that 
y equals one display style y equals one for a given observation. The main use case of a logistic model is to be given an observation x one x two display style x underscore one x underscore two and estimate the probability backquote backquote p display style p backquote backquote that y equals one display style y equals one in most applications the base b display style b of the logarithm is usually taken to be backquote backquote e backquote backquote However in some cases it can be easier to communicate results by working in base 2, or base 10. We consider an example with b equals 10 display style b equals 10 and coefficients beta 0 equals minus 3 Display style beta underscore zero equals minus three beta one equals one display style beta underscore one equals one and beta two equals two display style beta underscore two equals two to be concrete the model is log ten P one minus P equals equals minus three plus x one plus two x two Display style log underscore ten frac p one p equals L equals minus three plus x underscore one plus two x underscore two where p display style p is the probability of the event that y equals one display style y equals one. This can be interpreted as follows: beta zero equals minus three display style beta underscore zero equals minus three is the y-intercept. It is the log odds of the event that y equals 1 display style y equals 1 when the predictors x 1 equals x 2 equals 0 display style x underscore 1 equals x underscore 2 equals 0 by exponentiating, we can see that when x 1 equals x 2 equals 0 display style x underscore 1 equals x underscore 2 equals 0 the odds of the event that y equals 1 display style y equals 1 are 1 to 1000 or 10 minus 3 display style 10 carat minus 3 similarly the probability of the event that y equals 1 display style y equals 1 when x 1 equals x 2 equals 0 display style x underscore 1 equals x underscore 2 equals 0 can be computed as 1 1000 plus 1 equals 1 1001 display style 1 1000 plus 1 equals 1 1000 and first beta 1 equals 1 display style beta underscore 1 equals 1 means that increasing x 1 display style x underscore 1 
by 1 increases the log odds by 1 display style 1 so if x 1 display style x underscore 1 increases by 1 the odds that y equals 1 display style y equals 1 increase by a factor of 10 1 display style 10 carat 1 beta 2 equals 2 display style beta underscore 2 equals 2 means that increasing x 2 display style x underscore 2 by 1 increases the log odds by 2 display style 2 so if x 2 display style x underscore 2 increases by 1 the odds that y equals 1 display style y equals 1 increase by a factor of 10 2 display style 10 carat 2 note how the effect of x 2 display style x underscore 2 on the log odds is twice as great as the effect of x 1 display style x underscore 1 but the effect on the odds is 10 times greater in order to estimate the parameters beta i display style beta underscore i from data one must do logistic regression topic probability of passing an exam versus hours of study To answer the following question A group of 20 students spends between 0 and 6 hours studying for an exam. How does the number of hours spent studying affect the probability of the student passing the exam? The reason for using logistic regression for this problem is that the values of the dependent variable, pass and fail, while represented by 1 and 0, are not cardinal numbers. If the problem was changed so that pass fail was replaced with the grade 0 to 100 cardinal numbers then simple regression analysis could be used. The table shows the number of hours each student spent studying and whether they passed 1 or failed 0. The graph shows the probability of passing the exam versus the number of hours studying with the logistic regression curve fitted to the data. The logistic regression analysis gives the following output. The output indicates that hours studying is significantly associated with the probability of passing the exam p equals 0.0167 display style p equals 0.0167 walled test the output also provides the coefficients for intercept equals minus 4.0777 Display style text intercept equals minus four point zero seven 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 and hours equals one point five zero four six. Display style text hours equals one point five zero four six. These coefficients are entered in the logistic regression equation to estimate the odds probability of passing the exam. Log odds of passing exam equals 1.5046 hours minus 4.0777 equals 1.5046 hours minus 2 71 odds of passing exam equals exp 1.5046 hours minus 4.0777 equals exp 1.5046 hours minus 2.71 probability of passing exam equals 11 plus exp minus 1.5046 hours minus 4.0777 display style begin aligned text log odds of passing exam and equals 1.5046 c dot Next hours minus 4.0777 equals 1. 
5046 c.text hours minus 2.71 text odds of passing exam and equals exp left 1.5046 c.text hours minus 4.0777 right equals exp left 1.5046 c.text hours minus 2.71 right text probability of passing exam and equals frac 1 1 plus exp left left 1.5046 Six C dot text hours minus four point zero seven 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 right right end aligned one additional hour of study is estimated to increase log odds of passing by one point five zero four six so multiplying odds of passing by exp one point five zero four six approximately equals four point five Display style exp 1.5046 approx 4.5. The form with the x intercept 2.71 shows that this estimates even odds, log odds 0, odds 1, probability 1 half for a student who studies 2.71 hours. For example, for a student who studies 2 hours, entering the value hours equals 2 display style text hours equals 2 in the equation gives the estimated probability of passing the exam of 0.26, probability of passing exam equals 1 1 plus exp minus 1.50462 minus 4.0777 equals 0.26 display style text probability of passing exam equals frac 1 1 plus exp left 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 1.5046 c dot 2 to 4.0777 right right equals 0.26. Similarly, for a student who studies four hours, the estimated probability of passing the exam is 0. 0.87. Probability of passing exam equals 1 1 plus exp minus 1.5046 4 minus 4.0777 equals 0.87. Display style text probability of passing exam equals frac 1 1 plus exp left left 1.5046 c dot 4 to 4.0777 right right equals 0.87. This table shows the probability of passing the exam for several values of hours studying. The output from the logistic regression analysis gives a p-value of p equals 0.0167 display style p equals 0.0167 which is based on the Wald z-score. Rather than the Wald method, the recommended method to calculate the p-value for logistic regression is the likelihood ratio test (LRT), which for this data gives p equals 0.0006. Display style p equals 0.0006. Topic, Topic discussion: Logistic regression can be binomial, ordinal, or multinomial. Binomial or binary logistic regression deals with situations in which the observed outcome for a dependent variable can have only two possible types, 0 and 1, which may represent, for example, dead vs. alive or win vs. loss. Multinominal logistic regression deals with situations where the outcome can have three or more possible types, e.g., disease vs. disease B vs. disease C that are not ordered. Ordinal logistic regression deals with dependent variables that are ordered. In binary logistic regression, the outcome is usually coded as 0 or 1, as this leads to the most straightforward interpretation. If a particular observed outcome for the dependent variable is the noteworthy possible outcome referred to as a success or a case, it is usually coded as 1 and the contrary outcome referred to as a failure or a non-case as 0. Binary logistic regression is used to predict the odds of being a case based on the values of the independent variables predictors. The odds are defined as the probability that a particular outcome is a case divided by the probability that it is a non-case. Like other forms of regression analysis, logistic regression makes use of one or more predictor variables that may be either continuous or categorical. 
Unlike ordinary linear regression, however, logistic regression is used for predicting dependent variables that take membership in one of a limited number of categories treating the dependent variable in the binomial case as the outcome of a Bernoulli trial rather than a continuous outcome. Given this difference, the assumptions of linear regression are violated. In particular, the residuals cannot be normally distributed. In addition, linear regression may make nonsensical predictions for a binary dependent variable. What is needed is a way to convert a binary variable into a continuous one that can take on any real value, negative or positive. To do that, binomial logistic regression first calculates the odds of the event happening for different levels of each independent variable, and then takes its logarithm to create a continuous criterion as a transformed version of the dependent variable. The logarithm of the odds is the logit of the probability. The logit is defined as follows: logit p equals ln p1 minus p for 0 p1. Display style operator name logit p equals ln frac p1 p quad text for 0. Although the dependent variable in logistic regression is Bernoulli, the logit is on an unrestricted scale. The logit function is the link function in this kind of generalized linear model, i.e. Log it e y equals alpha plus beta x display style operator name log it operator name e y equals alpha plus beta x. Y is the Bernoulli distributed response variable and x is the predictive variable. The log it of the probability of success is then fitted to the predictors. The predicted value of the logit is converted back into predicted odds via the inverse of the natural logarithm, namely the exponential function. Thus, although the observed dependent variable in binary logistic regression is a 0 or 1 variable, the logistic regression estimates the odds, as a continuous variable, that the dependent variable is a success, a case. In some applications, the odds are all that is needed. In others, a specific yes or no prediction is needed for whether the dependent variable is or is not a case. This categorical prediction can be based on the computed odds of success, with predicted odds above some chosen cutoff value being translated into a prediction of success. The assumption of linear predictor effects can easily be relaxed using techniques such as spline functions. Topic. Logistic regression vs. other approaches Logistic regression measures the relationship between the categorical dependent variable and one or more independent variables by estimating probabilities using a logistic function, which is the cumulative distribution function of logistic distribution. Thus, it treats the same set of problems as probit regression using similar techniques, with the latter using a cumulative normal distribution curve instead. Equivalently, in the latent variable interpretations of these two methods, the first assumes a standard logistic distribution of errors and the second a standard normal distribution of errors. Logistic regression can be seen as a special case of the generalized linear model and thus analogous to linear regression. The model of logistic regression, however, is based on quite different assumptions about the relationship between the dependent and independent variables from those of linear regression. In particular, the key differences between these two models can be seen in the following two features of logistic regression. First, the conditional distribution y x is a Bernoulli distribution rather than a Gaussian distribution, because the dependent variable is binary. Second, the predicted values are probabilities and are therefore restricted to 0, 1 through the logistic distribution function because logistic regression predicts the probability of particular outcomes rather than the outcomes themselves. Logistic regression is an alternative to Fisher's 1936 method, linear discriminant analysis. If the assumptions of linear discriminant analysis hold, the conditioning can be reversed to produce logistic regression. The converse is not true, however, because logistic regression does not require the multivariate normal assumption of discriminant analysis.
Topic latent variable interpretation The logistic regression can be understood simply as finding the beta, display style beta parameters that best fit, y equals 1 beta 0 plus beta 1 x plus epsilon greater than OOLs, display style y equals begin cases 1 and beta underscore 0 plus beta underscore 1 x plus var epsilon greater than 0, 0 and text else end cases where epsilon display style var epsilon is an error distributed by the standard standard logistic distribution. If a standard normal distribution is used instead, it is a probit model. The associated latent variable is y equals beta 0 plus beta 1 x plus epsilon Display style y equals beta underscore zero plus beta underscore one x plus var epsilon. The error term epsilon display style var epsilon is not observed, and so the y display style y is also an unobservable hence term latent. The observed data are values of y display style y and X display style X. Unlike ordinary regression, however, the beta display style beta parameters cannot be expressed by any direct formula of the y display style y and X display style X values in the observed data. Instead they are to be found by an iterative search process, usually implemented by a software program, that finds the maximum of a complicated likelihood expression. That is a function of all of the observed y display style y and x display style x values. The estimation approach is explained below. Topic. Logistic function, odds, odds ratio, and log it. Topic. Definition of the logistic function An explanation of logistic regression can begin with an explanation of the standard logistic function. The logistic function is a sigmoid function, which takes any real input t display style t t element of r display style t in math bb r and outputs a value between 0 and 1 for the log of this is interpreted as taking input log odds and having output probability the standard logistic function sigma r 0 1 Display style sigma math b b r right arrow zero one is defined as follows sigma t equals e t e t plus one equals one one plus e minus t Display style sigma t equals frac e carrot t e carrot t plus one equals frac one one plus e carrot t. A graph of the logistic function on the t interval minus six six is shown in Figure one. Let us assume that t display style t is a linear function of a single explanatory variable x display style x. The case where t display style t is a linear combination of multiple explanatory variables is treated similarly. We can then express t display style t as follows: t equals beta zero plus beta one x display style t equals beta underscore 0 plus beta underscore 1 X and the general logistic function P R 
zero one display style p map b b r right arrow zero one can now be written as p x equals sigma t equals one one plus e minus beta zero plus beta one x display style p x equals sigma t equals frac one one plus e caret beta underscore zero plus beta underscore one x in the logistic model p x display style p x is interpreted as the probability of the dependent variable y display style y equaling a success case rather than a failure non case it's clear that the response variables y i display style y underscore i are not identically distributed p y i equals 1 x display style p y underscore i equals 1 mid x differs from one data point x i display style x underscore i to another though they are independent given design matrix x display style x and shared parameters beta display style beta topic definition of the inverse of the logistic function We can now define the log at log odds function as the inverse g equals sigma minus one display style g equals sigma caret minus one of the standard logistic function. It is easy to see that it satisfies g p x equals sigma minus 1 p x equals log it p x equals lane p x 1 minus p x equals beta 0 plus beta 1 x display style g p x equals sigma caret minus 1 p x equals operator name log at p x equals lane left frac p x 1 p x right equals beta underscore 0 plus beta underscore 1 x and equivalently after exponentiating both sides we have the odds p x 1 minus p x equals e beta 0 plus beta 1 x display style frac p x 1 p x equals e caret beta underscore 0 plus beta underscore 1 x topic interpretation of these terms In the above equations, the terms are as follows: g, display style g, is the log at function. The equation for g, p, x, display style g, p, x, illustrates that the log at, i.e., log odds or natural logarithm of the odds, is equivalent to the linear regression expression. Lane, display style lane denotes a natural logarithm p x display style p x is the probability that the dependent variable equals a case given some linear combination of the predictors the formula for p x display style p x 
illustrates that the probability of the dependent variable equaling a case is equal to the value of the logistic function of the linear regression expression. This is important in that it shows that the value of the linear regression expression can vary from negative to positive infinity and yet, after transformation, the resulting expression for the probability p x display style p x ranges between 0 and 1 beta 0 display style beta underscore 0 is the intercept from the linear regression equation the value of the criterion when the predictor is equal to 0 beta 1 x display style beta underscore 1 x is the regression coefficient multiplied by some value of the predictor base e display style e denotes the exponential function topic definition of the odds the odds of the dependent variable equaling a case given some linear combination x display style x of the predictors is equivalent to the exponential function of the linear regression expression this illustrates how the logit serves as a link function between the probability and the linear regression expression given that the logit ranges between negative and positive infinity it provides an adequate criterion upon which to conduct linear regression and the logit is easily converted back into the odds so we define odds of the dependent variable equaling a case given some linear combination x display style x of the predictors as follows odds equals e beta 0 plus beta 1 x display style text odds equals e caret beta underscore 0 plus beta underscore 1 x topic the odds ratio for a continuous independent variable the odds ratio can be defined as o r equals odds x plus 1 odds x equals f x plus 1 1 minus f x plus 1 f x 1 minus f x equals e beta 0 plus beta 1 x plus 1 E beta zero plus beta one x equals E beta one Display style matram O R equals frac operator name odds x plus one operator name odds x equals frac left frac f x plus one one f x plus one right left frac f x one f x right equals frac e carrot beta underscore zero plus beta underscore one x plus one e carrot beta underscore zero plus beta underscore one x equals e carrot beta underscore one this exponential relationship provides an interpretation for beta 1 display style beta underscore 1 the odds multiply by e beta 1 display style e caret beta underscore 1 for every one unit increase in x for a binary independent variable the odds ratio is defined as a d B C display style frac add B C, where A B C and D are cells in a two times two contingency table. Topic: Multiple explanatory variables. If there are multiple explanatory variables, the above expression 
beta zero plus beta one x display style beta underscore zero plus beta underscore one x can be revised to beta zero plus beta one x one plus beta two x two plus plus beta m x m equals beta zero plus i equals one m beta i x i Display style beta underscore zero plus beta underscore one x underscore one plus beta underscore two x underscore two plus c dots plus beta underscore m x underscore m equals beta underscore zero plus sum underscore i equals one carrot m beta underscore i x underscore i. Then when this is used in the equation relating the log odds of a success to the values of the predictors, the linear regression will be a multiple regression with m explanators, the parameters beta j display style beta underscore j for all j equals 0, 1, 2 m are all estimated. Again, the more traditional equations are log p one minus P equals beta zero plus beta one x one plus beta two x two plus plus beta M x M Display style log frac p one p equals beta underscore zero plus beta underscore one x underscore one plus beta underscore two x underscore two plus c dots plus beta underscore m x underscore m and p equals one one plus b minus beta zero plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 plus plus beta m x m Display style p equals frac one one plus b carrot beta underscore zero plus beta underscore one x underscore one plus beta underscore two x underscore two plus c dots plus beta underscore m x underscore m, where usually b equals e. Display style b equals e. Topic. Model fitting Logistic regression is an important machine learning algorithm. The goal is to model the probability of a random variable y being 0 or 1 given experimental data. Consider a generalized linear model function parameterized by theta theta h Theta x equals one one plus e minus theta t x equals p r y equals one x theta Display style h underscore theta x equals frac one one plus e carrot theta carrot t x equals p r y equals one mid x theta. Therefore, p r y equals zero x theta equals one 
minus h theta x display style pr y equals zero mid x theta equals one h underscore theta x, and since y element of zero one display style y in zero one, we see that pr y x theta display style pr y mid x theta is given by pr y x theta equals h theta x y 1 minus h theta x 1 minus y Display style PR Y mid x theta equals H underscore theta x carrot Y one H underscore theta x carrot one Y. We now calculate the likelihood function assuming that all the observations in the sample are independently Bernoulli distributed L theta x equals PR Y x theta equals I PR Y I X I theta equals I H theta X I Y I one minus H theta X I one minus y i display style begin aligned l theta mid x and equals p r y mid x theta and equals prod underscore i p r y underscore i mid x underscore i theta and equals prod underscore i h underscore theta x underscore i carrot y underscore i one h underscore theta x underscore i carrot one y underscore i end aligned. Typically, the log likelihood is maximized n minus one log l theta x equals n minus one i equals one n log pr y i x i theta display style n caret minus one log l theta mid x equals n caret minus one sum underscore i equals one caret n log pr y underscore i mid x underscore i theta, which is maximized using optimization techniques such as gradient descent. Assuming the x y display style x y pairs are drawn uniformly from the underlying distribution then in the limit of large n lim n plus infinity n minus 1 i equals 1 n log pr y i x i theta equals x element of x y element of y pr x equals x y equals y log pr y equals y x equals x theta equals x element of x y element of y pr x equals x y equals y minus log pr y equals y x equals x pr y equals y x equals x theta plus log pr y equals y x equals x
equals minus DKL Y Y theta minus H Y X display style begin aligned and lim limits underscore end right arrow plus inf T N carrot minus one sum underscore I equals one carrot N log PR Y underscore I mid X underscore I theta equals sum underscore X in math cool X sum underscore Y in math cool Y PR X equals X Y equals Y log PR Y equals Y mid X equals X theta six BT equals and sum underscore X in math cool X sum underscore Y in math cool Y PR X equals X Y equals Y left log frac PR Y equals Y mid X equals X PR Y equals Y mid X equals X theta plus log PR Y equals Y mid X equals X right 6 BT equals and D underscore text KL Y parallel Y underscore theta H Y mid X end aligned where H X Y Display style H X mid Y is the conditional entropy and DKL display style D underscore text KL is the callback Leibler divergence. This leads to the intuition that by maximizing the log likelihood of a model, you are minimizing the KL divergence of your model from the maximal entropy distribution. Intuitively searching for the model that makes the fewest assumptions in its parameters. Topic. Rule of 10 A widely used rule of thumb, the «1 in 10 rule» states that logistic regression models give stable values for the explanatory variables if based on a minimum of about 10 events per explanatory variable EPV, where event denotes the cases belonging to the less frequent category in the dependent variable. Thus a study designed to use k display style k explanatory variables for an event e.g. myocardial infarction expected to occur in a proportion p display style p of participants in the study will require a total of 10 k p display style 10 k p participants However, there is considerable debate about the reliability of this rule, which is based on simulation studies and lacks a secure theoretical underpinning. According to some authors the rule is overly conservative, some circumstances, with the authors stating, if we, somewhat subjectively, regard confidence interval coverage less than 93%, type 1 error greater than 7%, or relative bias greater than 15% as problematic, our results indicate that problems are fairly frequent with 2 to 4 EPV, uncommon with 5 to 9 EPV, and still observed with 10 to 16 EPV. The worst instances of each problem were not severe with 5 to 9 EPV and usually comparable to those with 10 to 16 EPV. Others have found results that are not consistent with the above, using different criteria. A useful criterion is whether the fitted model will be expected to achieve the same predictive discrimination in a new sample as it appeared to achieve in the model development sample. For that criterion, 20 events per candidate variable may be required. Also, one can argue that 96 observations are needed only to estimate the model's intercept precisely enough that the margin of error in predicted probabilities is plus or minus 0.1 with an 0.95 confidence level. Topic. Maximum likelihood estimation The regression coefficients are usually estimated using maximum likelihood estimation. Unlike linear regression with normally distributed residuals, it is not possible to find a closed form expression for the coefficient values that maximize the likelihood function, so that an iterative process must be used instead, for example Newton's method. This process begins with a tentative solution, revises it slightly to see if it can be improved, and repeats this revision until no more improvement is made, at which point the process is said to have converged. In some instances, the model may not reach convergence. Non-convergence of a model indicates that the coefficients are not meaningful because the iterative process was unable to find appropriate solutions. A failure to converge may occur for a number of reasons, having a large ratio of predictors to cases, multicollinearity, sparseness, or complete separation. 
Having a large ratio of variables to cases results in an overly conservative Wald statistic discussed below, and can lead to non-convergence. Multicoloniarity refers to unacceptably high correlations between predictors. As multicoloniarity increases, coefficients remain unbiased but standard errors increase and the likelihood of model convergence decreases. To detect multicoloniarity amongst the predictors, one can conduct a linear regression analysis with the predictors of interest for the sole purpose of examining the tolerance statistic used to assess whether multicoloniarity is unacceptably high. Sparseness in the data refers to having a large proportion of empty cells, cells with zero counts. Zero cell counts are particularly problematic with categorical predictors. With continuous predictors, the model can infer values for the zero cell counts, but this is not the case with categorical predictors. The model will not converge with zero cell counts for categorical predictors because the natural logarithm of zero is an undefined value so that the final solution to the model cannot be reached. To remedy this problem, researchers may collapse categories in a theoretically meaningful way or add a constant to all cells. Another numerical problem that may lead to a lack of convergence is complete separation, which refers to the instance in which the predictors perfectly predict the criterion, all cases are accurately classified. In such instances, one should re-examine the data, as there is likely some kind of error. Topic. Iteratively re-weighted least squares IRLS. Binary logistic regression y equals zero display style y equals zero or y equals one display style y equals one can, for example, be calculated using iteratively reweighted least squares (IRLS), which is equivalent to minimizing the log likelihood of a Bernoulli distributed process using Newton's method. If the problem is written in vector matrix form with parameters w t equals beta 0 beta 1 beta 2 display style math bfw caret t equals beta underscore 0 beta underscore 1 beta underscore 2 l dots explanatory variables x I equals one x one I x two I t display style math bf x i equals one x underscore one i x underscore two i l dots carrot t and expected value of the Bernoulli distribution mu i equals one one plus E minus W T X I Display style mu I equals frac one one plus E carrot math BF W carrot T math BF X I The parameters W Display style math BF W can be found using the following iterative algorithm w k plus 1 equals x t s k x minus 1 x t s k x w k plus y minus mu k display style math bf w underscore k plus one equals left math bf x carrot t math bf s underscore k math bf x right carrot minus one math bf x carrot t left math bf s underscore k math bf x math bf w underscore k plus math bf y math bf bold symbol mu underscore k right where s equals Diag mu 
I one minus mu I display style math BF s equals operator name diag mu I one mu I is a diagonal weighting matrix mu equals mu one mu two display style bold symbol mu equals mu one mu two l dots the vector of expected values x equals 1 x 1 1 x 2 1 1 x 1 2 x 2 2 Display style Math BF x equals begin B matrix one and x underscore one one and x underscore two one and L dots one and x underscore one two and x underscore two two and L dots V dots and V dots and V dots end B matrix the regressor matrix and Y I equals Y one Y two T display style Math BF Y I equals Y one Y two L dots carrot T the vector of response variables. More details can be found in the literature. Topic: Evaluating goodness of fit. Goodness of fit in linear regression models is generally measured using R2. Since this has no direct analog in logistic regression, various methods including the following can be used instead. Topic: Deviance and likelihood ratio tests In linear regression analysis, one is concerned with partitioning variance via the sum of squares calculations. Variance in the criterion is essentially divided into variance accounted for by the predictors and residual variance. In logistic regression analysis, deviance is used in lieu of a sum of squares calculations. Deviance is analogous to the sum of squares calculations in linear regression and is a measure of the lack of fit to the data in a logistic regression model. When a saturated model is available, a model with a theoretically perfect fit, deviance is calculated by comparing a given model with the saturated model. This computation gives a likelihood ratio test d equals minus 2 lane likelihood of the fitted model likelihood of the saturated model display style d equals minus 2 lane frac text likelihood of the fitted model text likelihood of the saturated model in the above equation d represents the deviance and lane represents the natural logarithm the log of this likelihood ratio, the ratio of the fitted model to the saturated model, will produce a negative value, hence the need for a negative sign. D can be shown to follow an approximate chi-squared distribution. Smaller values indicate better fit as the fitted model deviates less from the saturated model. When assessed upon a chi-square distribution, non-significant chi-square values indicate very little unexplained variance and thus, good model fit. Conversely, a significant chi-square value indicates that a significant amount of the variance is unexplained. When the saturated model is not available, a common case, deviance is calculated simply as minus 2 log likelihood of the fitted model, and the reference to the saturated model's log likelihood can be removed from all that follows without harm. Two measures of deviance are particularly important in logistic regression, null deviance and model deviance. The null deviance represents the difference between a model with only the intercept, which means no predictors, and the saturated model. The model deviance represents the difference between a model with at least one predictor and the saturated model. In this respect, the null model provides a baseline upon which to compare predictor models. Given that deviance is a measure of the difference between a given model and the saturated model, smaller values indicate better fit. Thus, to assess the contribution of a predictor or set of predictors, one can subtract the model deviance from the null deviance and assess the difference on a chi s minus p 2 
Display style chi underscore sp carrot two chi square distribution with degrees of freedom equal to the difference in the number of parameters estimated. Let d null equals minus two lane likelihood of null model likelihood of the saturated model d fitted equals minus two lane likelihood of fitted model likelihood of the saturated model. Display style begin aligned d underscore text null and equals minus two lane frac text likelihood of null model text likelihood of the saturated model six pt d underscore text fitted and equals minus two lane frac text likelihood of fitted model text likelihood of the saturated model end aligned then the difference of both is d null minus d fitted equals minus 2 lane likelihood of null model likelihood of the saturated model minus lane likelihood of fitted model likelihood of the saturated model equals minus 2 lane likelihood of null model likelihood of the saturated model likelihood of fitted model likelihood of the saturated model equals minus 2 lane likelihood of the null model likelihood of fitted model Display style begin aligned D underscore text null D underscore text fitted and equals minus two left lane frac text likelihood of null model text likelihood of the saturated model lane frac text likelihood of fitted model text likelihood of the saturated model right six PT and equals minus two lane frac left D F R A C text likelihood of null model text likelihood of the saturated model right left D F R A C text likelihood of fitted model text Likelihood of the saturated model, right? Six PT and equals minus two lane frac text. Likelihood of the null model text. Likelihood of fitted model end aligned. If the model deviance is significantly smaller than the null deviance, then one can conclude that the predictor or set of predictors significantly improved model fit. This is analogous to the F test used in linear regression analysis to assess the significance of prediction. Topic: Pseudo R2s. In linear regression, the squared multiple correlation R2 is used to assess goodness of fit as it represents the proportion of variance in the criterion that is explained by the predictors. In logistic regression analysis, there is no agreed upon analogous measure, but there are several competing measures each with limitations. Four of the most commonly used indices and one less commonly used one are examined on this page. Likelihood ratio R2L Cox and Snell R2CS Nagelkirke R2N McFadden R2MCF TJUR R2TR2L is given by R L two equals D null minus D fitted D null display style R underscore text L carrot two equals frac D underscore text null D underscore text fitted D underscore text null This is the most analogous index to the squared multiple correlations in linear regression. It represents a proportional reduction in the deviance wherein the deviance is treated as a measure of variation analogous but not identical to the variance in linear regression analysis. One limitation of the likelihood ratio R2 is that it is not monotonically related to the odds ratio, meaning that it does not necessarily increase as the odds ratio increases and does not necessarily decrease as the odds ratio decreases. R2CS is an alternative index of goodness of fit related to the R2 value from linear regression. It is given by RCS2 equals 1 minus L0 LM2 N equals 1 minus East 2 lane L0 minus lane LM N display style begin aligned R underscore text CS carrot 2 and equals 1 left frac L underscore 0 L underscore M right carrot 2 N 5 PT and equals 1 E carrot 2 lane L underscore 0 lane L underscore M N end aligned. 
where LM and L0 are the likelihoods for the model being fitted and the null model, respectively. The Cox and Snell index is problematic as its maximum value is 1 minus L 0 2 n display style 1 L underscore 0 carrot 2 n the highest this upper bound can be is 0.75, but it can easily be as low as 0.48 when the marginal proportion of cases is small. R2n provides a correction to the Cox and Snell R2 so that the maximum value is equal to 1. Nevertheless, the Cox and Snell and likelihood ratio R2s show greater agreement with each other than either does with the nagel kircher R2. Of course, this might not be the case for values exceeding 0.75 as the Cox and Snell index is capped at this value. The likelihood ratio R2 is often preferred to the alternatives as it is most analogous to R2 in linear regression, is independent of the base rate. Both Cox and Snell and Nagelkircher R2s increase as the proportion of cases increase from 0 to 0.5 and varies between 0 and 1. R2MCF is defined as R MCF two equals one minus lane L M lane L zero display style R underscore text MCF carrot two equals one frac lane L underscore M lane L underscore zero and is preferred over R two CS by Allison. The two expressions R2MCF and R2CS are then related respectively by R C S 2 equals 1 minus 1 L 0 2 R MCF 2 N R MCF 2 equals minus n 2 lane 1 minus r c s 2 lane l 0 Display style begin matrix R underscore text CS carrot two equals one left DFRAC one L underscore zero right carrot frac two R underscore text MCF carrot two N one point five M R underscore text MCF carrot two equals DFRAC N two C dot DFRAC lane one R underscore text CS carrot two lane L underscore zero end matrix However, Allison now prefers R2T which is a relatively new measure developed by TJUR. It can be calculated in two steps. For each level of the dependent variable, find the mean of the predicted probabilities of an event. Take the absolute value of the difference between these means a word of caution is in order when interpreting pseudo R2 statistics. The reason these indices are fitter referred to as pseudo R2 is that they do not represent the proportionate reduction in error as the R2 in linear regression does. Linear regression assumes homoscedasticity, that the error variance is the same for all values of the criterion. Logistic regression will always be heteroscedastic, the error variances differ for each value of the predicted score. For each value of the predicted score there would be a different value of the proportionate reduction in error. Therefore, it is inappropriate to think of R2 as a proportionate reduction in error in a universal sense in logistic regression. hosmalam show test The hosmalam show test uses a test statistic that asymptotically follows a chi 2 display style chi caret 2 distribution to assess whether or not the observed event rates match expected event rates in subgroups of the model population this test is considered to be obsolete by some statisticians because of its dependence on arbitrary binning of predicted probabilities and relative low power topic coefficients 
After fitting the model, it is likely that researchers will want to examine the contribution of individual predictors. To do so, they will want to examine the regression coefficients. In linear regression, the regression coefficients represent the change in the criterion for each unit change in the predictor. In logistic regression, however, the regression coefficients represent the change in the logit for each unit change in the predictor. Given that the logit is not intuitive, researchers are likely to focus on a predictor's effect on the exponential function of the regression coefficient, the odds ratio see definition. In linear regression, the significance of a regression coefficient is assessed by computing a t-test. In logistic regression, there are several different tests designed to assess the significance of an individual predictor, most notably the likelihood ratio test and the walled statistic. Topic. Likelihood ratio test The likelihood ratio test discussed above to assess model fit is also the recommended procedure to assess the contribution of individual predictors to a given model. In the case of a single predictor model, one simply compares the deviance of the predictor model with that of the null model on a chi-square distribution with a single degree of freedom. If a predictor model has significantly smaller deviance, c, f g square using the difference in degrees of freedom of the two models, then one can conclude that there is a significant association between the predictor and the outcome. Although some common statistical packages, e.g. SPSS, to provide likelihood ratio test statistics, without this computationally intensive test it would be more difficult to assess the contribution of individual predictors in the multiple logistic regression case. To assess the contribution of individual predictors one can enter the predictors hierarchically, comparing each new model with the previous to determine the contribution of each predictor. There is some debate among statisticians about the appropriateness of so-called stepwise procedures. The fear is that they may not preserve nominal statistical properties and may become misleading. Topic. Walled statistic Alternatively, when assessing the contribution of individual predictors in a given model, one may examine the significance of the walled statistic. The walled statistic, analogous to the t-test in linear regression, is used to assess the significance of coefficients. The walled statistic is the ratio of the square of the regression coefficient to the square of the standard error of the coefficient and is asymptotically distributed as a chi-square distribution. W J equals beta J 2 S E beta J 2 Display style W underscore J equals frac beta underscore J carrot two SC underscore beta underscore J carrot two. Although several statistical packages, e.g., SPSS, Shash, report the walled statistic to assess the contribution of individual predictors, the walled statistic has limitations. When the regression coefficient is large, the standard error of the regression coefficient also tends to be larger, increasing the probability of type 2 error. The walled statistic also tends to be biased when data are sparse. Topic. Case control sampling Suppose cases are rare, then we might wish to sample them more frequently than their prevalence in the population. For example, suppose there is a disease that affects one person in 10,000 and to collect our data we need to do a complete physical. It may be too expensive to do thousands of physicals of healthy people in order to obtain data for only a few diseased individuals. Thus, we may evaluate more diseased individuals, perhaps all of the rare outcomes. This is also retrospective sampling, or equivalently it is called unbalanced data. As a rule of thumb, sampling controls at a rate of five times the number of cases will produce sufficient control data. Logistic regression is unique in that it may be estimated on unbalanced data, rather than randomly sampled data, and still yield correct coefficient estimates of the effects of each independent variable on the outcome. 
That is to say, if we form a logistic model from such data, if the model is correct in the general population, the beta j display style beta underscore j parameters are all correct except for beta zero display style beta underscore zero. We can correct beta zero display style beta underscore zero if we know the true prevalence as follows beta carrot zero equals beta carrot zero plus log pi one minus pi minus log pi tilde one minus pi tilde Display style white hat beta underscore zero carrot asterisk equals white hat beta underscore zero plus log frac pi one pi log tilde pi over one tilde pi where pi display style pi is the true prevalence and pi tilde display style tilde pi is the prevalence in the sample. Topic. Formal mathematical specification There are various equivalent specifications of logistic regression, which fit into different types of more general models. These different specifications allow for different sorts of useful generalizations. Topic. Setup The basic setup of logistic regression is as follows. We are given a dataset containing n points. Each point i consists of a set of m input variables x1, i, xm, i, also called independent variables, predictor variables, features, or attributes, and a binary outcome variable y, also known as a dependent variable, response variable, output variable, or class, i.e., it can assume only the two possible values 0, often meaning no or failure, or one often meaning yes, or success. The goal of logistic regression is to use the dataset to create a predictive model of the outcome variable. Some examples The observed outcomes of the presence or absence of a given disease e.g. diabetes in a set of patients, and the explanatory variables might be characteristics of the patients thought to be pertinent sex, race, age, blood pressure, body mass index, etc. The observed outcomes of the votes e.g. Democratic or Republican of a set of people in an election, and the explanatory variables of the demographic characteristics of each person e.g. sex, race, age, income, etc. In such a case, one of the two outcomes is arbitrarily coded as 1, and the other as 0, as in linear regression, the outcome variables y are assumed to depend on the explanatory variables x1, i, xm, i, Explanatory variables as shown above in the above examples, the explanatory variables may be of any type, real valued, binary, categorical, etc. The main distinction is between continuous variables such as income, age and blood pressure, and discrete variables such as sex or race. Discrete variables referring to more than two possible choices are typically coded using dummy variables or indicator variables, that is, separate explanatory variables taking the value 0 or 1 are created for each possible value of the discrete variable, with a 1 meaning, variable does have the given value, and a 0 meaning, variable does not have that value. For example, a four-way discrete variable of blood type with the possible values a, B, A, B, O can be converted to four separate two-way dummy variables. Is A, is B, is A, B, is O. Where only one of them has the value 1 and all the rest have the value 0. This allows for separate regression coefficients to be matched for each possible value of the discrete variable. In a case like this, only three of the four dummy variables are independent of each other, in the sense that once the values of three of the variables are known, the fourth is automatically determined. 
thus, it is necessary to encode only three of the four possibilities as dummy variables. This also means that when all four possibilities are encoded, the overall model is not identifiable in the absence of additional constraints such as a regularization constraint. Theoretically, this could cause problems, but in reality almost all logistic regression models are fitted with regularization constraints. Outcome variables Formally, the outcomes ye are described as being Bernoulli distributed data, where each outcome is determined by an unobserved probability π that is specific to the outcome at hand, but related to the explanatory variables. This can be expressed in any of the following equivalent forms y i x 1 i x m i Bernoulli P I E Y I X one I X M I equals P I P R Y I equals Y X one I X M I equals P I if Y equals one one minus P I if Y equals zero P R Y I equals y x 1 i x m I equals P I Y one minus P I one minus Y display style begin aligned Y underscore I mid X underscore one I L dots X underscore M I and sim operator name Bernoulli P underscore I operator name E Y underscore I mid X underscore one I L dots X underscore M I and equals P underscore I P R Y underscore I equals Y mid X underscore one I L dots X underscore M I and equals begin cases P underscore I and Text if y equals one one p underscore i and text if y equals zero end cases p r y underscore i equals y mid x underscore one i l dots x underscore m i and equals p underscore i carrot y one p underscore i carrot one y end aligned. The meanings of these four lines are: the first line expresses the probability distribution of each e conditioned on the explanatory variables. It follows a Bernoulli distribution with parameters pi. The probability of the outcome of one for trial i. As noted above, each separate trial has its own probability of success, just as each trial has its own explanatory variables. The probability of success pi is not observed, only the outcome of an individual Bernoulli trial using that probability. The second line expresses the fact that the expected value of each e is equal to the probability of success pi, which is a general property of the Bernoulli distribution. In other words, if we run a large number of Bernoulli trials using the same probability of success pi, then take the average of all the 1 and 0 outcomes, then the result would be close to pi. This is because doing an average this way simply computes the proportion of successes seen, which we expect to converge to the underlying probability of success. The third line writes out the probability mass function of the Bernoulli distribution, specifying the probability of seeing each of the two possible outcomes. The fourth line is another way of writing the probability mass function, which avoids having to write separate cases and is more convenient for certain types of calculations. This relies on the fact that ye can take only the value 0 or 1. In each case, one of the exponents will be 1, choosing the value under it, while the other is 0, cancelling out the value under it. Hence, the outcome is either π or 1 minus π, as in the previous line, linear predictor function. The basic idea of logistic regression is to use the mechanism already developed for linear regression by modeling the probability π using a linear predictor function, i.e. a linear combination of the explanatory variables and a set of regression coefficients that are specific to the model at hand but the same for all trials. The linear predictor function f i 
display style f i for a particular data point i is written as f i equals beta zero plus beta one x one i plus plus beta m x m i display style f i equals beta underscore zero plus beta underscore one x underscore one i plus c dots plus beta underscore m x underscore m i where beta zero beta m display style beta underscore zero l dots beta underscore m a regression coefficients indicating the relative effect of a particular explanatory variable on the outcome. The model is usually put into a more compact form as follows. The regression coefficients beta 0, beta 1, beta m are grouped into a single vector beta of size m plus 1. For each data point i, an additional explanatory pseudo variable x0, i is added, with a fixed value of 1, corresponding to the intercept coefficient β0. The resulting explanatory variables x0, i, x1, i, xm, i are then grouped into a single vector xi of size m plus 1. This makes it possible to write the linear predictor function as follows f i equals Beta x i display style f i equals bold symbol beta c dot math b f x underscore i using the notation for a dot product between two vectors. Topic as a generalized linear model. The particular model used by logistic regression, which distinguishes it from standard linear regression and from other types of regression analysis used for binary valued outcomes, is the way the probability of a particular outcome is linked to the linear predictor function log it e y i x 1 i x m i equals Log it P I equals lane P I one minus P I equals beta zero plus beta one x one I plus plus Beta M X M I Display style operator name log it operator name E Y underscore I mid X underscore one I L dots X underscore M I equals operator name log it P underscore I equals lane left frac P underscore I one P underscore I right equals beta underscore zero plus beta underscore one X underscore one I plus C dots plus beta underscore M X underscore M I written using the more compact notation described above. This is Log it E Y I X I equals log it P I equals lane P I one minus P I equals beta X I Display style operator name log it operator name e y underscore i mid math b f x underscore i equals operator name log it p underscore i equals lane left frac p underscore i one p underscore i right equals bold symbol beta c dot math b f x underscore i. This formulation expresses logistic regression as a type of generalized linear model, which predicts variables with various types of probability distributions by fitting a linear predictor function of the above form to some sort of arbitrary transformation of the expected value of the variable. 
The intuition for transforming using the logit function, the natural log of the odds, was explained above. It also has the practical effect of converting the probability, which is bounded to be between 0 and 1, to a variable that ranges over minus infinity plus infinity display style inf t plus inf t thereby matching the potential range of the linear prediction function on the right side of the equation note that both the probabilities pi and the regression coefficients are unobserved and the means of determining them is not part of the model itself they are typically determined by some sort of optimization procedure, e.g. maximum likelihood estimation, that finds values that best fit the observed data, i.e. that give the most accurate predictions for the data already observed, usually subject to regularization conditions that seek to exclude unlikely values, e.g. extremely large values for any of the regression coefficients. The use of a regularization condition is equivalent to doing maximum a posteriori map estimation, an extension of maximum likelihood. Regularization is most commonly done using a squared regularizing function, which is equivalent to placing a zero mean Gaussian prior distribution on the coefficients, but other regularizers are also possible. Whether or not regularization is used, it is usually not possible to find a closed form solution. Instead, an iterative numerical method must be used, such as iteratively reweighted least squares IRLS, or, more commonly these days, a quasi Newton method such as the LBFGS method. The interpretation of the beta-j parameter estimates is as the additive effect on the log of the odds for a unit change in the j the explanatory variable. In the case of a dichotomous explanatory variable, for instance, gender e beta display style e beta is the estimate of the odds of having the outcome for, say, males compared with females. An equivalent formula uses the inverse of the logit function, which is the logistic function, i.e. e y i x i equals p i equals logit minus 1 beta x i equals 1 1 plus e minus beta x i Display style operator name e y underscore i mid math b f x underscore i equals p underscore i equals operator name log it carrot minus one balsam vol beta c dot math b f x underscore i equals frac one one plus e carrot balsam vol beta c dot math b f x underscore i the formula can also be written as a probability distribution, specifically using a probability mass function p r y i equals y x i equals p i y 1 minus p i 1 minus y equals e beta x I one plus E beta X I Y one minus E beta X I one plus E beta X I one minus y equals e beta x i y 1 plus e beta x i 
display style PR Y underscore I equals Y mid math BF X underscore I equals P underscore I carrot Y one P underscore I carrot one Y equals left frac E carrot Bolsom Vol beta C dot Math BF X underscore I one plus E carrot Bolsom Vol beta C dot Math BF X underscore I right carrot Y left one frac E carrot Bolsom Vol beta C dot Math BF X underscore I one plus E carrot Bolsom Vol beta C dot Math BF X underscore I right carrot one Y equals frac E carrot Bolsom Vol beta C dot Math BF X underscore I C dot Y one plus E carrot Bolsom Vol beta C dot Math BF X underscore I Topic As a latent variable model The above model has an equivalent formulation as a latent variable model. This formulation is common in the theory of discrete choice models and makes it easier to extend to certain more complicated models with multiple, correlated choices, as well as to compare logistic regression to the closely related probit model. Imagine that, for each trial i, there is a continuous latent variable y asterisk, i.e. an unobserved random variable, that is distributed as follows. Y I equals beta X I plus epsilon display style Y underscore I carrot ast equals balsam bol beta C dot math BF X underscore I plus var epsilon where epsilon logistic zero one Display style var epsilon sim operator name logistic zero one, i.e. the latent variable can be written directly in terms of the linear predictor function and an additive random error variable that is distributed according to a standard logistic distribution. Then y can be viewed as an indicator for whether this latent variable is positive. Y i equals one if y I greater than zero, i.e. minus epsilon beta x i zero otherwise. Display style y underscore i equals begin cases one and text if y underscore i caret ast greater than zero text i.e. var epsilon the choice of modeling the error variable specifically with a standard logistic distribution rather than a general logistic distribution with the location and scale set to arbitrary values seems restrictive but in fact it is not it must be kept in mind that we can choose the regression coefficients ourselves and very often can use them to offset changes in the parameters of the error variable's distribution for example, a logistic error variable distribution with a non-zero location parameter mu, which sets a mean, is equivalent to a distribution with a zero location parameter, where mu has been added to the intercept coefficient. Both situations produce the same value for yi asterisk regardless of settings of explanatory variables. Similarly, an arbitrary scale parameter s is equivalent to setting the scale parameter to 1 and then dividing all regression coefficients by s. In the latter case, the resulting value of yi asterisk will be smaller by a factor of s than in the former case, for all sets of explanatory variables, but critically, it will always remain on the same side of zero, and hence lead to the same yi choice. Note that this predicts that the irrelevancy of the scale parameter may not carry over into more complex models where more than two choices are available. It turns out that this formulation is exactly equivalent to the preceding one, phrased in terms of the generalized linear model and without any latent variables. This can be shown as follows, using the fact that the cumulative distribution function CDF, of the standard logistic distribution is the logistic function, which is the inverse of the logit function, i.e. PR epsilon x equals log at minus one x display style PR var epsilon then PR y i equals one x i equals PR y i greater than zero x i equals PR beta x i plus epsilon greater than zero equals PR epsilon greater than minus beta x i. 
equals PR epsilon beta XI because the logistic distribution is symmetric equals log at minus 1 beta XI equals PI see above display style begin aligned PR y underscore I equals 1 mid math BF X underscore I and equals PR y underscore I carrot ast greater than 0 mid math BF X underscore I 5 PT and equals PR bold symbol beta C dot math BF X underscore I plus var epsilon greater than 0 Zero five PT and equals PR var epsilon greater than bold symbol beta C dot math BF x underscore I five PT and equals PR var epsilon this formulation, which is standard in discrete choice models, makes clear the relationship between logistic regression the log -it model and the probit model, which uses an error variable distributed according to a standard normal distribution instead of a standard logistic distribution. Both the logistic and normal distributions are symmetric with a basic unimodal, bell curve shape. The only difference is that the logistic distribution has somewhat heavier tails, which means that it is less sensitive to outlying data and hence somewhat more robust to model misspecifications or erroneous data. Topic two way latent variable model Yet another formulation uses two separate latent variables, yi0 equals beta 0 xi plus epsilon 0 yi1 equals beta 1 xi plus epsilon 1. Display style begin aligned y underscore i carrot 0 ast and equals bold symbol beta underscore 0 c dot math bf x underscore i plus var epsilon underscore 0 y underscore i carrot 1 ast and equals bold symbol beta underscore one C dot Math BF X underscore I plus var epsilon underscore one end aligned where epsilon Zero E V one zero one Epsilon one E V one zero one Display style begin aligned var epsilon underscore zero and sim operator name E V underscore one zero one var epsilon underscore one and sim operator name E V underscore one zero one end aligned where E V one zero one is a standard type one extreme value distribution, i.e. PR epsilon zero equals x equals PR epsilon one equals x equals e minus x e minus e minus x display style PR var epsilon underscore zero equals x equals PR var epsilon underscore one equals x equals e caret x e caret e caret x then y i equals one if y i one greater than y i zero zero otherwise Display style y underscore i equals begin cases one and text if y underscore i carrot one ast greater than y underscore i carrot zero ast zero and text otherwise end cases. This model has a separate latent variable and a separate set of regression coefficients for each possible outcome of the dependent variable. The reason for this separation is that it makes it easy to extend logistic regression to multi-outcome categorical variables, as in the multinomial logit model. In such a model, it is natural to model each possible outcome using a different set of regression coefficients. It is also possible to motivate each of the separate latent variables as a theoretical utility associated with making the associated choice, and thus motivate logistic regression in terms of utility theory. In terms of utility theory, a rational actor always chooses the choice with the greatest associated utility. This is the approach taken by economists when formulating discrete choice models, because it both provides a theoretically strong foundation and facilitates intuitions about the model, which in turn makes it easy to consider various sorts of extensions. See the example below. The choice of the type 1 extreme value distribution seems fairly arbitrary, but it makes a mathematics workout, and it may be possible to justify its use through rational choice theory. It turns out that this model is equivalent to the previous model, although this seems non-obvious, since there are now two sets of regression coefficients and error variables, and the error variables have a different distribution. In fact, this model reduces directly to the previous one with the following substitutions. Beta equals beta 1 minus beta 0 Display style bold symbol beta equals bold symbol beta underscore one bold symbol beta underscore zero epsilon equals epsilon one minus epsilon zero 
Display style var epsilon equals var epsilon underscore one var epsilon underscore zero. An intuition for this comes from the fact that since we choose based on the maximum of two values, only their difference matters, not the exact values, and this effectively removes one degree of freedom. Another critical fact is that the difference of two type one extreme value distributed variables is a logistic distribution, i.e., epsilon equals epsilon 1 minus epsilon 0 logistic 0 1 display style var epsilon equals var epsilon underscore 1 var epsilon underscore 0 sim operator name logistic 0 1 we can demonstrate the equivalent as follows pr y i equals 1 x i equals pr y i 1 greater than y i 0 x i equals pr y i 1 minus y i 0 greater than 0 x i equals pr beta 1 x i plus epsilon 1 minus beta 0 x i plus epsilon 0 greater than 0 equals pr beta 1 x i minus beta 0 x i plus epsilon 1 minus epsilon 0 greater than 0 equals pr beta 1 minus beta 0 x i plus epsilon 1 minus epsilon 0 greater than 0 equals pr beta 1 minus beta 0 x i plus epsilon greater than 0 substitute epsilon as above equals pr beta x i plus epsilon greater than zero substitute beta as above equals pr epsilon greater than minus beta xi now same as above model equals pr epsilon beta xi equals log at minus one beta xi equals pi Display style begin aligned PR Y underscore I equals one mid math BF X underscore I equals and PR left Y underscore I carrot one ast greater than Y underscore I carrot zero ast mid math BF X underscore I right and five PT equals and PR left Y underscore I carrot one ast Y underscore I carrot zero ast greater than zero mid math BF X underscore I right and five PT equals and PR Left bold symbol beta underscore one c dot math bf x underscore i plus var epsilon underscore one left bold symbol beta underscore zero c dot math bf x underscore i plus var epsilon underscore zero right greater than zero right and five pt equals and pr left bold symbol beta underscore one c dot math bf x underscore i bold symbol beta underscore zero c dot math bf x underscore i plus var 
varepsilon underscore one, varepsilon underscore zero greater than zero, right, and five PT equals and PR bold symbol beta underscore one, bold symbol beta underscore zero, C dot, math BF x underscore I plus, varepsilon underscore one, varepsilon underscore zero greater than zero, and five PT equals and PR bold symbol beta underscore one, bold symbol beta underscore zero, C dot, math BF x underscore I plus var epsilon greater than zero and an text substitute var epsilon text as above five pt equals and pr bold symbol beta c dot math bf x underscore i plus var epsilon greater than zero and an text substitute bold symbol beta text as above five pt equals and pr var epsilon greater than bold symbol beta c dot math bf x underscore i and an text now same as above model five pt equals and pr var epsilon Topic. Example As an example, consider a province-level election where the choice is between a right-of-center party, a left-of-center party, and a secessionist party e.g. the Parti Québécois, which wants Quebec to secede from Canada. We would then use three latent variables, one for each choice. Then, in accordance with utility theory, we can then interpret the latent variables as expressing the utility that results from making each of the choices. We can also interpret the regression coefficients as indicating the strength that the associated factor i.e. explanatory variable has in contributing to the utility, or more correctly, the amount by which a unit change in an explanatory variable changes the utility of a given choice. The voter might expect that the right of center party would lower taxes, especially on rich people. This would give low income people no benefit, i.e., no change in utility, since they usually don't pay taxes, would cause moderate benefit, i.e., somewhat more money, or moderate utility increase, for middle incoming people, would cause significant benefits for high income people. On the other hand, the left of center party might be expected to raise taxes and offset it with increased welfare and other assistance for the lower and middle classes. This would cause significant positive benefit to low income people, perhaps a weak benefit to middle income people, and significant negative benefit to high income people. Finally, the secessionist party would take no direct actions on the economy, but simply secede. A low-income or middle-income voter might expect basically no clear utility gain or loss from this, but a high-income voter might expect negative utility since he, she is likely to own companies, which will have a harder time doing business in such an environment and probably lose money. These intuitions can be expressed as follows. This clearly shows that separate sets of regression coefficients need to exist for each choice. When phrased in terms of utility, this can be seen very easily. Different choices have different effects on net utility, furthermore, the effects vary in complex ways that depend on the characteristics of each individual, so they need to be separate sets of coefficients for each characteristic, not simply a single extra per choice characteristic. Even though income is a continuous variable, its effect on utility is too complex for it to be treated as a single variable. Either it needs to be directly split up into ranges, or higher powers of income need to be added so that polynomial regression on income is effectively done. Topic. As a log-linear model Yet another formulation combines the two-way latent variable formulation above with the original formulation higher up without latent variables, and in the process provides a link to one of the standard formulations of the multinominal logit. Here, instead of writing the logit of the probabilities π as a linear predictor, we separate the linear predictor into two, one for each of the two outcomes, lane PR, yi equals zero equals beta zero x i minus lane z lane PR, yi equals one equals beta one x i minus lane z display style begin aligned lane PR, y underscore i equals zero and equals bold symbol beta underscore zero c dot math bf x underscore i lane z lane 
domain P R Y underscore I equals one and equals bold symbol beta underscore one C dot Math BF X underscore I lane Z end aligned note that two separate sets of regression coefficients have been introduced, just as in the two-way latent variable model, and the two equations appear a form that writes a logarithm of the associated probability as a linear predictor, with an extra term minus lnz display style lnz at the end. This term, as it turns out, serves as a normalizing factor ensuring that the result is a distribution. This can be seen by exponentiating both sides, PR, yi equals 0 equals 1 z e beta 0 x i PR, yi equals 1 equals 1 z e beta 1 x i, display style begin aligned, PR, y underscore i equals 0, and equals, frac 1, z e carrot, bold symbol, beta underscore 0, c dot, math bf, x underscore i 5 pt, PR, y underscore i equals 1, and equals, frac 1, z e carrot, bold symbol, beta underscore 1 c dot math bf x underscore i end aligned in this form it is clear that the purpose of z is to ensure that the resulting distribution over y is in fact a probability distribution i.e. it sums to 1. This means that z is simply the sum of all un normalized probabilities and by dividing each probability by z the probabilities become normalized. That is z equals e beta 0 x i plus e beta 1 x i display style z equals e caret bold symbol beta underscore 0 c dot math bf x underscore i plus e caret bold symbol beta underscore 1 c dot math bf x underscore i and the resulting equations are P R Y I equals zero equals E beta zero X I E beta zero X I plus E beta one X I P R Y I equals one equals E beta one X I E Beta zero x i plus e beta one x i display style begin aligned p r y underscore i equals zero and equals frac e caret bold symbol beta underscore zero c dot math b f x underscore i e caret bold symbol beta underscore zero c dot math b f x underscore i plus e caret bold symbol beta underscore one c dot math b f x underscore i five p t p r y underscore i equals one and equals frac E carrot bold symbol beta underscore one C dot Math BF X underscore I E carrot bold symbol beta underscore zero C dot Math BF X underscore I plus E carrot bold symbol beta underscore one C dot Math BF X underscore I end aligned or generally PR Y I equals C equals E beta C X I H E beta H X I Display style PR Y underscore I equals C equals frac E carrot bold symbol beta underscore C C dot Math BF X underscore I sum underscore H E carrot bold symbol beta underscore H C dot Math BF X underscore I This shows clearly how to generalize this formulation to more than two outcomes, as in multinominal logit. Note that this general formulation is exactly the softmax function as in P R Y I equals C equals softmax C beta zero X I beta one X I 
Display style P R Y underscore I equals C equals operator name softmax C bold symbol beta underscore zero C dot Math BF X underscore I bold symbol beta underscore one C dot Math BF X underscore I dots in order to prove that this is equivalent to the previous model, note that the above model is overspecified, in that P R Y I equals zero display style P R Y underscore I equals zero and P R Y I equals one Display style P R Y underscore I equals one cannot be independently specified, rather P R Y I equals zero plus P R Y I equals one equals one Display style P R Y underscore I equals zero plus P R Y underscore I equals one equals one. So knowing one automatically determines the other. As a result, the model is non-identifiable, in that multiple combinations of beta 0 and beta 1 will produce the same probabilities for all possible explanatory variables. In fact, it can be seen that adding any constant vector to both of them will produce the same probabilities. P R Y I equals 1 equals E beta 1 plus C X I E beta 0 plus C X I plus E beta 1 plus C X I equals E beta 1 x i e c x i e beta 0 x i e c x i plus e beta 1 x I E C X I equals E C X I E beta one X I E C X I E beta zero x i plus e beta one x i equals e beta one x i e beta zero X I plus E beta one X I display style begin aligned P R Y underscore I equals one and equals frac E carrot bold symbol beta underscore one plus Math BF C C dot Math BF X underscore I E carrot bold symbol beta underscore zero plus Math BF C C dot Math BF X underscore I plus E carrot bold symbol beta underscore one plus Math BF C C dot Math BF X underscore I five Five PT and equals frac E carrot bold symbol beta underscore one C dot Math BF X underscore I E carrot Math BF C C dot Math BF X underscore I E carrot bold symbol beta underscore zero C dot Math BF X underscore I E carrot Math BF C C dot Math BF X underscore I plus E carrot bold symbol beta underscore one C dot Math BF X underscore I E carrot Math BF C C 
dot Math BF x underscore I five PT and equals frac E carrot Math BF C C dot Math BF x underscore I E carrot bold symbol beta underscore one C dot Math BF x underscore I E carrot Math BF C C dot Math BF x underscore I E carrot bold symbol beta underscore zero C dot Math BF x underscore I plus E carrot bold symbol beta underscore one C dot Math BF x underscore I five PT and equals frac E carrot bold symbol beta underscore one C dot Math BF x underscore I E carrot bold symbol beta underscore zero C dot Math BF x underscore I plus E carrot bold symbol beta underscore one C dot Math BF x underscore I end aligned as a result we can simplify matters and restore identifiability by picking an arbitrary value for one of the two vectors. We choose to set beta zero equals zero. Display style bold symbol beta underscore zero equals math bf zero. Then e beta zero x i equals e zero x i equals one. Display style carrot bold symbol beta underscore zero c dot math bf x underscore i equals e carrot math bf zero c dot math bf x underscore i equals one, and so pr y i equals one equals e beta one x i one plus E beta one X I equals one one plus E minus beta one X I equals P I Display style PR Y underscore I equals one equals frac E carrot bold symbol beta underscore one C dot Math BF X underscore I one plus E carrot bold symbol beta underscore one C dot Math BF X underscore I equals frac one one plus E carrot bold symbol beta underscore one C dot Math BF X underscore I equals P underscore I which shows that this formulation is indeed equivalent to the previous formulation. As in the two-way latent variable formulation, any settings where beta equals beta 1 minus beta 0 Display style bold symbol beta equals bold symbol beta underscore 1 bold symbol beta underscore 0 will produce equivalent results. Note that most treatments of the multinomial logit model start out either by extending the log linear formulation presented here or the two-way latent variable formulation presented above, since both clearly show the way that the model could be extended to multi-way outcomes. In general, the presentation with latent variables is more common in econometrics and political science, where discrete choice models and utility theory reign, while the log linear formulation here is more common in computer science, e.g. machine learning and natural language processing. Topic: As a single layer perceptron The model has an equivalent formulation P I equals one one plus E minus beta zero plus beta one X one I plus plus beta K X K I display style p underscore i equals frac one one plus e carrot beta underscore zero plus beta underscore one x underscore one i plus c dots plus beta underscore k x underscore k i 
This functional form is commonly called a single-layer perceptron or single-layer artificial neural network. A single-layer neural network computes a continuous output instead of a step function. The derivative of pi with respect to x equals x1 xk is computed from the general form y equals 1 1 plus e minus f x display style y equals frac 1 1 plus e caret f x where f x is an analytic function in x with this choice, the single-layer neural network is identical to the logistic regression model. This function has a continuous derivative, which allows it to be used in backpropagation. This function is also preferred because its derivative is easily calculated. d y d x equals y 1 minus y d f d x display style frac mathrm d y mathrm d x equals y 1 y frac mathrm d f mathrm d x topic in terms of binomial data A closely related model assumes that each I is associated not with a single Bernoulli trial but with knee independent identically distributed trials, where the observation Yi is the number of successes observed, the sum of the individual Bernoulli distributed random variables, and hence follows a binomial distribution. Y I bin N I P I for I equals 1 n display style y underscore i sim operator name bin n underscore i p underscore i text for i equals 1 dots n an example of this distribution is the fraction of seeds pi that germinate after knee are planted in terms of expected values this model is expressed as follows p i equals e Y I N I X I display style P underscore I equals operator name E left left frac Y underscore I N underscore I right math B F X underscore I right so that log it E Y I N I X I equals log it P I equals lane P I one minus P I equals beta X I display style operator name log it left operator name E left left Frac y underscore i n underscore i right math b f x underscore i right right equals operator name log it p underscore i equals lane left frac p underscore i one p underscore i right equals bold symbol beta c dot math b f x underscore i or equivalently p r y i equals y x i equals n i y p i y 1 minus p i n i minus y equals n i y 1 1 plus e Minus beta x i y one minus one one plus e minus beta x i n i 
minus y display style pr y underscore i equals y mid math bf x underscore i equals n underscore i choose y p underscore i carrot y one p underscore i carrot n underscore i y equals n underscore i choose y left frac one one plus e carrot bold symbol beta c dot math bf x underscore i right carrot y left one frac one one plus e carrot bold symbol beta c dot math bf x underscore i right carrot n underscore I Y this model can be fit using the same sorts of methods as the above more basic model topic Bayesian in a Bayesian statistics context prior distributions are normally placed on the regression coefficients usually in the form of Gaussian distributions there is no conjugate prior of the likelihood function in logistic regression. When Bayesian inference was performed analytically, this made the posterior distribution difficult to calculate except in very low dimensions. Now, though, automatic software such as OpenBugs, JAGS, PYMC3 or STAN allows these posteriors to be computed using simulation, so lack of conjugacy is not a concern. However, when the sample size or the number of parameters is large, full Bayesian simulation can be slow, and people often use approximate methods such as variational Bayesian methods and expectation propagation. Topic history A detailed history of the logistic regression is given in Kramer 2002. The logistic function was developed as a model of population growth and named logistic by Pierre-François Verhulst in the 1830s and 1840s, under the guidance of Adolphe Quetelet. See logistic function section history for details. In his earliest paper, 1838, Verhulst did not specify how he fit the curves to the data. In his more detailed paper 1845, Verhulst determined the three parameters of the model by making the curve pass through three observed points, which yielded poor predictions. The logistic function was independently developed in chemistry as a model of autocatalysis. Wilhelm Ostwald, 1883. An autocatalytic reaction is one in which one of the products is itself a catalyst for the same reaction, while the supply of one of the reactants is fixed. This naturally gives rise to the logistic equation for the same reason as population growth, the reaction is self-reinforcing but constrained. The logistic function was independently rediscovered as a model of population growth in 1920 by Raymond Pearl and Lowell Reed, published as Pearl and Reed 1920, which led to its use in modern statistics. They were initially unaware of Verhust's work and presumably learned about it from L. Gustave du Pasquier, but they gave him little credit and did not adopt his terminology. Verhust's priority was acknowledged and the term logistic revived by Whitney Yule in 1925 and has been followed since. Pearl and Reed first applied the model to the population of the United States, and also initially fitted the curve by making it pass through three points. As with Verhulst, this again yielded poor results. In the 1930s, the probit model was developed and systematized by Chester Itner Bliss, who coined the term probit in Bliss, 1934, and by John Gadam in Gadam, 1933, and the model fit by maximum likelihood estimation by Ronald A. Fisher in Fisher, 1935, as an addendum to Bliss's work. The probit model was principally used in bioassay, and had been preceded by earlier work dating to 1860, see probit model section history. The probit model influenced the subsequent development of the logit model and these models competed with each other. The logistic model was likely first used as an alternative to the probit model in bioassay by Edwin Bidwell Wilson and his student Jane Worcester in Wilson and Worcester, 1943. However, the development of the logistic model as a general alternative to the probit model was principally due to the work of Joseph Barkson over many decades, beginning in Barkson, 1944, where he coined logit by analogy with probit, and continuing through Barkson, 1951, and following years. The logit model was initially dismissed as inferior to the probit model, but gradually achieved an equal footing with the logit, particularly between 1960 and 1970. By 1970, the Logit model achieved parity with the Probit model in use in statistics journals and thereafter surpassed it. 
This relative popularity was due to the adoption of the logit outside of bioassay, rather than displacing the probit within bioassay, and its informal use in practice. The logit's popularity is credited to the logit model's computational simplicity, mathematical properties, and generality, allowing its use in varied fields. Various refinements occurred during that time, notably by David Cox, as in Cox, 1958, the multinominal logit model was introduced independently in Cox, 19. 1966, and Thiel 1969, which greatly increased the scope of application and the popularity of the Logit model. In 1973 Daniel McFadden linked the multinominal Logit to the theory of discrete choice, specifically Luce's choice axiom, showing that the multinominal Logit followed from the assumption of independence of irrelevant alternatives and interpreting odds of alternatives as relative preferences, this gave a theoretical foundation for the logistic regression. Topic. Extensions There are large numbers of extensions Multinominal logistic regression or multinominal logit handles the case of a multi-way categorical dependent variable with unordered values, also called classification. Note that the general case of having dependent variables with more than two values is termed polytomous regression. Ordered logistic regression or ordered logit handles ordinal dependent variables ordered values. Mixed logit is an extension of multinominal logit that allows for correlations among the choices of the dependent variable. An extension of the logistic model to sets of interdependent variables is the conditional random field. Conditional logistic regression handles matched or stratified data when the strata are small. It is mostly used in the analysis of observational studies. Topic: <laughs> Software. Most statistical software can do binary logistic regression. SPSS 1 for basic logistic regression. Stata Shash Proc logistic for basic logistic regression. Proxy ATM OD when all the variables are categorical. Prop GLIMMIX for multi-level model logistic regression. Art GLM in the stats package, using family equals binomial. LRM in the RMS package. GLMNET package for an efficient implementation regularized logistic regression. LMER for mixed effects logistic regression. Our fast package command gm underscore logistic for fast and heavy calculations involving large-scale data. ARM package for Bayesian logistic regression. Python. Log it in the stats models module. Logistic regression in the scikit-learn module. Logistic regressor in the TensorFlow module. Full example of logistic regression in the Theano tutorial 2. Bayesian logistic regression with ARD prior code, tutorial. Variational Bayes logistic regression with ARD prior code, tutorial. Bayesian logistic regression code, tutorial. NCSS. Logistic regression in NCSS. MATLAB. MNR fit in the statistics and machine learning toolbox with incorrect coded as 2 instead of 0. FMI NUNC, FinCon, FITLM, MNR FIT, FITCLINIA, MLE can all do logistic regression. Java, JVM, Liblinia, Apache Flink, Apache Spark, Spark ML supports logistic regression, FPGA, Logistic Regression IP Core in HLS for FPGA, notably, Microsoft Excel Statistics Extension Package does not include it. Topic. See also Logistic function Discrete choice Jarrow-Turnbull model Limited dependent variable Multinominal logit model Ordered logit Hosmolem show test Briar score ML pack – contains a C++ implementation of logistic regression Local case control sampling Logistic model tree